Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the shop to look at the new cars. We currently don't have any new cars this update. And while we're in here, you can now filter by advanced stats and it shows exact stats for each car. So you don't have to manually click on a car and look at the stats in the bottom left. And in the quest tab, you can see that they have completely updated this and it looks way better than before. And looking at the new car, we have a race pal, which is just a pal in mixture form. And the blip GT is back, so if you didn't earn this, you can get it again. And to start off, I'll show you the five parts in the USA map. For the first part, head over to this trailer delivery spot right here. And heading into the building over here, you'll see the very first part. For the next part, head over to the car wash. And right in between these chargers, you'll see the second part. For the next part, head over to this race right here, Home Owners Association. And you have to get into this garage, which sometimes is glitchy and doesn't open, but there it is. For the next part, you can either go down here or up here, but I'll go down here since it's easier. And right over here on the screen patch, you'll see the fourth part. And for the last part, you want to head over to the desert here and go all the way out over here next to this rock. And right behind it, you'll see the very last part. And now with that, let's head over to Japan and I'll show you the other five parts. And now for the first part of the Japan map, head over to this race right here around Japan. And right in between these pillars, you'll see the very first part. For the second part, head over to this food delivery spot right here. And right behind this building, you'll see the second part. For the next part, head over to this race right here, Interchange Sprint. And right on this road, you'll see the third part. And for the next part, head over to this area right here, Takashi Dirt Circuit. And right behind this tree, you'll see the next part. And for this very last part, head over to the stump park. And right under this ramp, you'll see the very last part. And now with that, let's grind the rest of these challenges. And there we go, we have completed all the weekly challenges, so let's collect them and try out this new race, pal. And here it is at stock, it has a score of 1,480 and a horsepower of 3,894. And for the engine swap, I'm not really sure if the V12 is better. It drops the score by a whole bunch, but it I don't know if this means that it's better or worse. And here are the customizations for it.
When it's at max score, it has a score of 2,853 and a horsepower of 3,894. And it's able to get around 275 miles per hour. And now with that, I'll try race circuit with a stock 10 speed. As you can see, this is pretty slow compared to the average mixture time. Most of this update was just fixing bugs and performance issues. For example, we have signs all over these buildings now. And some pre-existing buildings have had their logos updated. Another update around the map we have is there is a lot of EV chargers now. Like shown over here by this part at the car wash. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update and I'll see you in the next video.